Hi all folks, this is Max from GalaxyNexusRoot.com. Today I'm going to show you how to unroot your Galaxy Nexus completely back to stock. Um, for the GSM version, I'm going to show it to you with uh, the GSM version with the Jelly Bean, the official Jelly Bean. We're going to unroot it back to its official Jelly Bean. Also I have images, uh, links below. You can use the same method for Verizon also and for Sprint also, but Sprint's uh, factory image is not out yet but when it's out you can follow the same videos um, it's just you know just a different files but um, I'll show you how to do that so go ahead and connect it oh, actually let's put it into fast boot mode um, so go ahead and turn off your phone um, let's power off and remember this will erase uh, pretty much everything on your um, Galaxy Nexus if you uh, relock your bootloader which I'll show you how to do also um, so make sure you make a backup of your internal storage but however if you just want to um, unroot back to the official ROM then you don't have to worry about it um, just don't do the bootloader lock at the end um, so once your Galaxy Nexus is turned off put it into fast boot mode by holding down volume up volume down and the power button together for about three seconds and you'll see this thing here and simply connect a micro USB cable to your computer and uh, it should say fast boot mode down here alright let's go to our computer next go ahead and download the factory image for your phone the, the one I have is for GSM um, but it doesn't matter copy uh, download it download the uh, for for GSM is talk to dash yards uh, 003 C factory blah blah dot tar dot GZ um, you can uncompress it use like a 7 zip um, and if you can't compress it, you'll find a folder called uh, talk to blah blah uh, with the numbers and uh, inside you'll find a folder and with for Verizon version you will should find uh, similar files um, with the different fo folder names but you'll find a bootloader file, radio file and uh, image file if you're using Verizon and also if Sprint version is out by the time um, you watch this video it's not out yet as of this video then you can also unzip it and I'll update my blog post with Sprint version also uh, when it comes out. But right now Verizon version is only ICS only um, and also for GSM the version I'm using right now is uh, Jelly Beans. Now you can always do a software update from ICS to Jelly Bean when it comes out uh, if it came out by the time you saw this video. So you can go to ICS also under to ICS and then upgrade via software to Jelly Beans. So let's do this. Um, also you'll need to download this uh, file called fastboot.zip and if you unzip that file you'll get a folder called fastboot with all these files. Make sure you extract all the files. Um, next what we're going to do is simply copy all of the files needed. The image blah blah.zip it's the same for Verizon whatever Sprint and uh, GSM is the actual stock image a radio is a radio. You don't actually have to flash the radio, um, but I'll show you how to do all of that. Uh, so go ahead and copy image radio and also the bootloader. Copy all of those. Copy it, or you can copy the, all the files into the fast boot folder here. And this will work on all Mac, Linux, or uh, Windows. Um, for Mac or Linux, you can also copy uh, these these files over. Well, you know what? Don't worry about it. We'll, we'll do it all here and I'll show you how to do it. So once you've got these three files uh, copied over, bootloader blah blah dot img, uh, uh, image blah blah dot zip and radio blah blah dot img, those three are the files we need. Next go ahead and open up a command prompt. Um, go to start and type cmd for Windows. For Mac or Linux, um, go ahead and open up a app called uh, Terminal em Emulator. If you don't know how to open terminal, emu terminal emulator in your Mac or Linux, please Google it. Um, so once you're in terminal or command prompt, go ahead and type CD downloads, all right, and then type CD fastboot. Um, that's probably where you unzip the file to. So I'm just, you know, I'm just assuming that's your where all of your. If you didn't change the download folder, that's where it's going to be. Those. Uh, command should work and you should be in, in some kind of fast boot folder and next we're gonna flash the bootloader first so what we're gonna type is uh, fast boot space flash space bootloader 
space and then type bootloader and hit the tap key on your keyboard and it will fill it in for you all right and uh, you know I have a GSM version so it's, it'll say Maguro um, if you have the Verizon version it will say Toro blah blah dot IMG and also for uh, Linux or Mac um, before you do all of these commands type uh, let me let me do this let me start over uh, type chmod space uh, 755 st star like that before you type any of the commands uh, it's gonna give me error in Windows obviously and then we'll, we'll try the commands again bootloader space uh, oh, bootloader there so that's the command for Windows but if you're using a Mac or Linux type sudo uh, in front and also dot slash and for Mac add Mac and also for, for Linux add Linux like that you're gonna have to replace every fastboot command with uh, those things the, for Linux sudo dot slash fastboot dash Linux and for Mac sudo dot slash fastboot dash Mac I'm just gonna go, go over that once so Mac and Linux users know that the, all the files are there and you can also do it too but for Windows we're just gonna do this um, and uh, hit the enter key here but before we do you're gonna have to make sure um, you have the drivers installed so go ahead and go to control panel now this is for Windows only Linux or Mac you don't need drivers uh, go to device manager and uh, make sure um, you have some kind of ADB interface here um, it should say some kind of ADB but you know my ACC works too uh, for some reason I installed ACC drivers on my Galaxy Nexus but they're compatible so it's fine but you should get something like Android ADB if you don't have any drivers um, go ahead and install it I'll have links to that also um, you should get some kind of exclamation mark with Galaxy Nexus just update it with the drivers alright let's go back here and flash it and hit enter and this will flash the bootloader and if you get uh, some kind of error you can try it again um, turn your phone off and then put it back into bootloader or also what you can do is uh, go down once and re reboot bootloader and try the command again if you get any errors and I'm going to connect it back to my computer um, next what we want to do is uh, we want to actually reboot the bootloader I just did that to show you but let me show you how to do that with the command line is uh, fastboot space reboot dash bootloader and again you have to replace for Mac and Linux don't forget alright and uh, my phone has rebooted next we're gonna flash the the uh, radio you don't have to um, this is how you do it fastboot space flash space radio space radio and hit the tab key I'm not gonna actually flash it I just wanna show you how to do it because I I don't wanna flash the one that's there I, I like the radio I have so that's done and let's go to the final step um, this is gonna get you back to completely back to stock so this is the actual stock image stock firmware um, so next type fastboot space minus w space update space uh, image and hit the tab key and it will fill it in for you and uh, it's gonna update with the official jelly bean image on my GSM Galaxy Nexus and hit enter and this should take about um, 20 minutes. Ooh, I got a fail there. Hold on a second. Um, oh, you know what? This update does require me to actually flash the radio. So go ahead and actually flash the radio. I can change it later. Fast boost space flash space radio space radio blah blah dot dot img. All right, flash the radio, and then um, we're gonna reboot the bootloader. So type fastboot space boot uh, reboot dash bootloader. All right, and this will get us back. And uh, let's do the other command again. Um, so this time it should work. My phone rebooted, and I'm gonna do the uh, fastboot dash w update. This is the actual stock image. This time it should work. Um, it got an error the first time because. Like I was telling you, I, I didn't want to update my radio because it was an uh, older radio. Um, so now it should flash, and it is flashing, and you can see it's got 402,267 uh, kilobytes, which equals four, about 400 megabytes 
Um, so this should take about five to ten minutes. Um, so go ahead and take a, a break. Um, go have some coffee and come back, and I'll be back. Sorry, it shouldn't take five or ten minutes. It should take like a minute. Well, maybe two or three minutes. Um, now it's actually erasing user data. Um, now it's going through creating a file system with parameters. Um, and also this will erase your user data and apps and stuff. So do make a backup using Titanium Backup app before you do this. And uh, it's pretty much done here. And I uh, should be on a fresh slate of Jelly Bean 4.1.1 on my Galaxy Nexus GSM. And uh, it's almost done. Writing mm -hmm. cache. And it's done. And that's it. And your phone will reboot. Um, let me change the camera angle real quick. And my phone is booting up here, as you can see here. And uh, it should be booted up shortly here. And um, the the last tip I'll show you is how to lock the bootloader. Again, if you know your purpose was just to get to back to stock ROM, you don't have to lock the bootloader as that will erase everything on your internal storage. But if your uh, point is to return your phone for warranty or maybe you're selling it, then you can relock the bootloader which will wipe everything on your phone. Um, so I'll be back when this completely boots up. Next up I'm going to show you how to um, how to lock the bootloader. So once it powers up, you're all good to go. I'm just, I'm just not going to wait for this. God, that burrito hands. I just had a big burrito. It's just... Uh, gets everywhere on my screen for the rest of the day I can't find my microfiber oh it's right here there we go go ahead and power it off and we're gonna reboot into um, the bootloader menus again so go ahead and hold down volume up volume down and the power for three seconds or so and you'll be in here connected to your computer again via micro USB now let's go to our computer Next, go back to the command prompt, your terminal, um, and type fastboot space OEM space lock. And this will lock your phone uh, back, and also this will wipe everything on your internal storage. Again, make a backup before you do this, and I'm going to do it um, now. And uh, now it should say... Uh, lock state locked right there where my thumb is. Yeah. So now it's been locked. You can always go ahead and relock it and reroute it if you want to. Um, go ahead and start. Mm -hmm. And your phone should be completely fresh and uh, ready to go. Mm. So once that's done, your phone has been completely wiped back on uh, official Jelly Bean. And uh, you can, you know, return your phone and no one will be able to tell you've rooted your phone. Uh, or install any custom ROMs. Anyway, if you like this video, if you have a Galaxy Nexus, um, don't forget to sign up for my email list at gal uh, galaxynexusroot.com. We update you once a week with ROM of the week tips, hacks, and more. And also, it's a great way for you to get in contact with me and others if you have trouble with your phone. And uh, if you're on YouTube, please hit that like button for me here. Um, subscribe button up there, wherever it is. And uh, please share this with your friends on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+. Um, I'm not going to wait for it, but uh, this is just this is completely back to stock. For that one, though. Well, you know what? I'll be back. I'll show you that it is. There we go. Uh, I'm just going to skip everything just to show you. Um, everything has been done here the way we want to. So I should be back on um, stock official folder forward hot one dot one. Four dot one dot one. There we go. 4.1.1 you can see there and uh, everything's been updated and also let's go check the file system real quick do we have file app here um, yeah. well you know what let's just go look at the storage uh, here we go storage and you'll see that you'll see that I have 13 gigabytes available which is like normal um, 70 so pretty much everything's been erased and you can see there's nothing, uh, my photos and videos are completely gone on my Galaxy Nexus. Um, so anyway, that's how you update it. And also, if you're using the Verizon version, you're probably back on ICS. Um, if for some reasons Verizon comes out with official Jelly Bean, 
or if they already have just don't no factory images just go to system updates and check now and then you should be all good to go and it'll update it anyway thanks you guys again and see y'all later and uh, stay high on android yeah